saw someone break this down on TikTok the other day. It's pretty interesting, man. But I want to make a few tweaks to it, though. Check me out. All right, there's about 329 million, 500,000 people on this earth, right? 7% of those are LGBTQ. So multiply this by 0 0.07. What you got? Boom. 23 million, 65,000 people are LGBTQ. That leaves us with a grand total of 306 million. 435,000 people left on this earth. Of the total amount of people on this earth, 51.1% of them are women. So that is 156,588,285. Y'all check the math, y'all think I'm wrong, all right? <clears throat> more or less. It's more women than men right about now. That's already fucked up for them because there ain't enough men to go around for all the women around here. You know how they say, it's somebody out of everybody? Well, clearly that's wrong because there ain't enough men to go around. And then the rest of them is men. And that leave us with 149,846,715 men's left. That's, uh, I said men's, men's. But that's, uh, y'all, 48.9% of people left on this earth, right? Is men. Okay, think about the current dating market, current current sexual market. They got the 80-20 rule, right? Where say 80% of women go for the 20% of men. I think that's inaccurate. I think, uh pretty much 100% of the women go for the top 20% of men to keep it a stack. You can look at dating app data to get your best approximation of whatever percentage it is. They say women out here swipe right 5% of the time to, you know, 14% of the time, right? But I'm gonna round up and give men the benefit of the doubt and say that 100% of women out here go for the top 20% of men, right? Are there exceptions to the rule? Yes, but the majority of the women out here today shoot for the stars, right? So if that if if that is the case, then from that that 156 men, 588,285 women are shooting for 149, 846, 715 times 0.205. So, we got a whopping 156 million, 588,285 women shooting for 29 million, 969,343 men. Uh, that ratio is fucking crazy as hell, bro. That's why it's gonna be a whole bunch of single women down the road. Why they single already, man? It's a bunch of single men, too, but we're gonna, we gonna tap into that uh, here pretty soon. Video's coming up, man, but for, for right now, I mean, both men and women is fucked right now. Dating market's fucked up. Men and women are both fucked, but hypergamy is beating women ass as you can see because of this ratio right now bro that's like so right <laughs> so right now that ratio for every man he got five women if all women shooting for the five top 20 percent so like right now the ratio i gave you one man it's gonna it's really it's really one man for every five women based on hypergamy man but then you got these women out here that are really shooting for the fucking stars shooting for the one percent like the top earners but we're just basing on money alone not like six foot six pack six inches none of that just top earners right it's based on age man but top one percent is going to be anywhere from like 150 grand 300 grand a year some some something along those lines man but fact remains it's the top 1%. So from this 29 men, well, 30 men times 0 0.015. Wow. Knocks it all the way down to 300,000 men, bro. 300,000 men. 299-69343. For those women out here shooting for the 1%, which, which it seems like most women are, like these modern women are, right? That is... Point zero zero one nine. We'll round it up to two. Point zero zero two. That is point two percent. Women out here have a point two percent chance of getting these top earners, top one percent. Right. A a man coming out of high school has a point zero zero two three percent chance of making it to the nba you got a better chance of making it to the nba than women out here finding the fucking man that they want say that again men have a better chance making the nba than women do getting the man that they want hypergamy is a motherfucker man but like at the end of the day bro this is either gonna like encourage you or discourage you bro 
And hypergamy is a motherfucker, bro. It be, whip, it be whipping women's ass, and that's the reason why women are fucking single, and that's why men are fucking single, because men cannot meet these standards, and women's standards are too fucking high, man. So what does that mean for us, bro? What does that mean for us? Like I say, it, it can either encourage you or discourage you, bro. And I'm here to encourage, dog. And at the end of the day, you can only control what you can control, bro. Dog, there's 156 million women out there in America. And granted, the majority of them are not out here shooting for the top 1%, man. But, you know what I'm saying? If they've been molded at all by, you know, delusion, the feminist movement, you know, all that, they're... they're perspective is going to be a little skewed and standards are going to be a little high it's going to place them in a very difficult situation when it comes to finding a man that they want well, a lot of men are fucking giving up in the dating world man because it's like bro it's impossible like what the fuck am i supposed to do with this shit bro but like i said I'm, I'm here to encourage bro you can only control what you can control i'm not out, i'm not out here saying you need to be fucking out here you know killing that life to make to give you better chances of getting a fucking woman no fuck that you do this shit for you but when you kill it at life women come with the fucking territory but at the end of the day you need to be out here getting as much leverage as you can in life in this dating world and you can only control what you can control dog you can't control your height you can't control how big your dick is you can't control the past the past is the past you can't control how society is presently constructed you can't control none of that all you can control is what you can control right and that means get the fucking bag get the fucking bag dog like high value man top earners bro they pretty much set their own rules man you know what i'm saying not and i don't i don't want to say this to like instill motherfuckers be out here chasing the bag being a dickhead dog still got to be a good person man but money money pretty much everything when it comes to this dating shit to get your foot in the door to fucking you know dictate your own terms bro to just be more attractive to them you got to be richest man in the world you got to have something to fucking offer to to separate yourself from the fucking pack dog there's only three hundred thousand men out here well that's top one percent so bring it back down to the top 20 percent we'll, we'll bring it down to the other 30 million men in the world the other 120 million ain't they can't compete with the 30 million dog because of whatever it is to make yourself more attractive to make you more competitive to make you feel more confident and make you feel like a fucking man dog you got to chase the bag bro you got to chase the bag and i don't know what i don't know what the fuck that looks like for you but it needs to be enough money to make your ass feel confident to make you feel like you got a leg up to make you feel like you the shit you know what i'm saying and then get your motherfucking ass in the gym get your ass in the gym you can only control what you can control you can only control how your face look so much you know what i'm saying like if you an ugly motherfucker you an ugly motherfucker what you can do is get that bag get your ass in the gym dog and then go put yourself out there work on them social skills bro build your fucking confidence man go learn the skill go learn go learn how to fucking fight <laughs> you know what i'm saying real shit like to keep it a stack keep it just keep keep it blunt as fuck like do things that are going to make you confident and once your ass is confident bro the world is your oyster you can do whatever the fuck you want to do in it you know what i'm saying i know that fucking it's, it's me saying it like what you know about this that and the third like I, I don't i don't know nothing about what it is to not be able to be successful in this game i don't know i've, I've never had issue with it dog but i can empathize i can understand and i can provide my little two cents to, to make men out here better dog and for men to be in such a low spot the majority of men to be in such a low spot that is a large there's so much room for men to get up out of that and place themselves competitively with all the other men out here who are killing it dog not even killing it just you know having a good life you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying like allow hypergamy to work for you don't allow it to make you feel less than you know you can't compete with the fucking drakes and the and the and whomever out here killing in life that's not realistic but but in in the real world bro do what you need to do to not be invisible anymore man figure out what haircut look the best on you find clothes that highlight your attributes bro get your ass in the fucking gym chase that fucking bag and got them kill that life dog you know what i'm saying like numbers is cool but when i see that i'm like bro there's so much room for motherfuckers to 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 be out here doing whatever the fuck they want to do because men are in such a fucking low spot that means you can win that means you can win there's plenty of opportunity out there for you to fucking win you know what i'm saying figure it out though what do you like to do what do you love to do how can you fucking make money from that shit and then get your ass in the fucking gym bro real shit get your ass in the fucking gym you know what i'm saying and then when when you do get to the point where you comfortable you happy you know what i'm saying you killing it you fucking bitches and shit don't get the fucking big head don't get cocky. Don't become an asshole. 
You know what I'm saying? Be humble. Don't be chasing these hoes either. But yeah, dog. Smith to encourage, not discourage, dog. Get after it. I'm out.